How's it going guys? Thank you for coming back to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is David Aguilar, or you may know me as Ariel Austin. City of mine. Oh, I love, oh, I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. So first, let me say, I'm so glad to be back at the desk. It's been a while since I've actually been able to sit down at the desk and record a video and set the lights up. So I'm so glad to actually be talking in front of the camera again uh, because the last videos I've done have been the ride around. Uh, it's pretty much a first person point of view on how I go out and get my photos for Instagram and other things that I do and different projects. So go ahead and watch some of those if you haven't yet. Now, uh, one question I've been getting a lot from you guys lately has been how I export and upload my videos to Instagram Reel, IGTV, or whatever platform. Uh, you love how smooth and clean and crisp and colorful my stuff is. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, like, how do you export it? How do you get such a high quality video for your Instagram Reels and stories? So I thought I'd hop onto the computer and show you guys how I do it. First things first, I edit on Premiere Pro. So if you edit on Premiere Pro, keep watching because this may help you out. If you don't, I highly suggest you do. To me, Premiere uh, is probably one of the better ones to edit with. I remember I started off editing on iMovie and it was so intimidating looking at Premiere Pro. But as I started learning how to edit with Lightroom and Photoshop, Premiere Pro got a little less intimidating and now I have so much fun editing. That's kind of what I do for a living now. So let's hop onto the computer and I will show you guys how I do this. I've already selected some videos to choose from, so I thought we can do this one right here. This one's one of my favorites. It's of the skyline um, while I was out on the bike trail in Austin. And to me, it's just such, it's such a beautiful shot, really good scenery. So I thought I'd, we'll go with this one. All right, so first things first, as you can tell, this is horizontal. So we want more of a vertical framing so it could fit for Instagram and IGTV and Reels. So all you gotta do is go over to Sequence, Sequence Settings. And all we're gonna do is flip these two numbers around. So it's gonna be 1080 by 1920. Then you click maximum render quality. Okay, okay, and okay. So now as you can see, we have that vertical style that we need. So all we're gonna do is enlarge it a bit to crop it for there. And now we have our video. So next thing is the framing. So I, when it comes to these style of videos, when I'm flying into the scenery, I like to do a, almost like a dolly zoom effect. So I'll go to 125, kind of get a little bit more in the center. Let's do uh, 1910. All right. So now we're gonna set our points right there. And I like to keep the video around 15 to 30 seconds. So let's do 15 for this one. So we're gonna do a 15 second point and then I'm just in a speed ramp. So I'm clicking R, dragging it over. And there you go. So now it's sped up, did the speed ramping. So next thing is I will go to the end of the shot. Adjust frames again. zoom out all right so now as you can see it's kind of giving you that dolly zoom effect where it's zooming in and zooming out at the same time so next up what I like to do is color grade so I'll add an adjustment layer drag that over and color grade it to the way that I want to so I you know I love bringing out those oranges in the sky so first things first is that, get a little bit more of those purples in, darken it up a bit. And I just mess with the color grading for a while. Now with me, I like to kind of accentuate things a little bit more, make things pop. So that's what I try to do when I color grade. Okie dokie. So next up is the exporting process. I'd like to render in and out, it just saves me a little time uh, when I do the exporting. All right, so now we're gonna go over to File, Export, Media. I'd like to go on the preset, I will go to High Quality 1080 PHD, 
as you can tell it has these two black bars on the side all you do is click match source and it does it perfectly to the way you need it for your instagram reels and instagram tv and everything else ig reel skyline all right render at maximum depth use maximum render quality export now once that is done exporting we're going to airdrop that over to our phone and then we're going to start uploading it onto instagram so let's hop on to the instagram platform all right so next up we're going to add that to reels There it is. Now we look for a song. There's times where I like to swipe to see how it would change the set. Kind of like the way the Oslo looks a little bit. Let's see, put a caption. We'll say, choose the cover. Caption, don't worry, be happy. Vibes. Share, and there you go. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope this really helps y'all upload better, high quality footage to your Instagram and other social media platforms. Literally, this is the way I export almost all my footage. I would say about 70 to 80% of my footage. So if you follow these steps, Trust me, your stuff is gonna come out great. Um, if there's any other things you guys would wanna learn on how I shoot or how I edit, um, if you guys see things on my Instagram and you're wondering like, wow, what did you shoot that on? How did you, how did you shoot that? How did you edit that? Comment below, let me know. I love showing you guys how I do these things and even some behind the scenes stuff. Like I said, watch my POV uh, shoot with me videos. I have no idea what I'm calling them, but uh, that gives you a little bit of an understanding of what I do when I get these shots and how it is when i go out and get these photos so once again thank you so much for watching until next time y'all have a good one peace out